Hey everyone, Silas here once again. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. I do apologize for the slight delay. Give me a sec. Oh, that's much better. Anyways, I do apologize for the slight delay. You see, since the last episode, I graduated from college. Yeah, so let's move on and play some more Pokemon. In this episode, I'd like to get at least as far as, oh, say, um, the next town. And thankfully, oh, no, we'll just totally destroy that. Thank you, and good night. Confused Ray. Oh, yes. I would love me some Confused Ray. Uh, you can forget Super Sonic. Yep. That was easy. Hmm, which way to go? Well, let's keep going forward. Um, if I remember correctly, both paths meet up anyway, so I'll go this way. Ah, more bird Pokemon. Great. Fantastic. I love fighting bird trainers over and over. In which case, I don't. Yeah, that's the reason why I love the Zubat family. I actually really like the Zubat family, and uh, mostly because of Crobat. Crobat is the most broken, one of the more broken Pokemon I find. It's not per se broken as in just so overpowered, it's just really, really fast. <laughs> you almost always get first hits with Crobat. And if you give it, like, a uh, bite, you're basically never gonna get hit. I mean, you still can. It's just not very likely because of the flinch. So let's move on. Now if we had the uh, mock bike, we could skip this next trainer, so I'm just going to go ahead and fight this next trainer, which after this wild encounter and another item pickup, I believe. Yeah, we'll ignore you temporarily, and actually, I'm going to change my party. I know what type you are, so... Uh, Oddish, okay. Well, Ant Lion's out, so... Not gonna happen. Ugh. And, well, it is gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That's what I thought. Well, looks are very nice. I do like those. But that's not the thing. Alright, so, you notice this guy. It's a ninja. Unfortunately, he is positioned just well that you can't avoid him. So, let's go ahead and deal with it. Of course, ninjas have the very poor thing of only using poison types, basically. They do use, uh... Bug, as well, but... And you're... resisting that. Uh, that's cute. Oh, well. Yeah, I keep using Mind Reader, which is gonna do nothing, it seems. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Jask. All right. In that case, Desmond. Just Ember. Yeah, this is the other thing with uh ninjasks, they're really annoying. Mostly because they have speed boosts, they have a ton of moves that just give them uh stat buffs like that. So they can basically sit there and buff themselves for eternity. And for the real reason why I sent Antlion out, because I knew you'd have a coughing. Yeah, they can basically buff themselves forever, so... Very annoying. Alright, you're levitating. Cool. Hmm, lucky you. You poisoned me. At least it's not very effective, and it wasn't super poison. So I probably get one more turn. And maybe. Alright, I'm not going to take the risk, so we'll just heal and line back up. Take a hit. Hopefully, Bite actually hits this time. Of course it doesn't. I hate... an evasion lowering move so much. <laughs> well, accuracy lowering moves, evasion raising. Granted, using them is very nice, but... Uh, it's so annoying to have to deal with... NPCs that use them. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be very useful in this. Ah, uh, homie, you're up. I'd keep using Shinoa, but she's about to faint. And I just used a potion, so. Yeah. As I said, you could use the mock bike to completely skip that trainer, but I hate the mock bike, so meh. You can completely skip this guy too, but you know, why bother? It's not gonna take that long. Yeah, why'd I even bother using bite? Umi doesn't go first. Umi just kills things with strength. Which I still need to get rid of, but I can't do until I get to the 8th town. And now we hit Weather Institute. Yay. Okay, so here's the thing. We have these Aqua members that are standing... Telling us to stay away from the Weather Institute. They're being on lookout. Yes, they're guarding this building. These two guys are stopping me from going in this building. Yeah, that was surprisingly well defended. I know whatever team is here does the same thing. For Ruby version, it would be Magma. I don't know about Emerald because I didn't play Emerald. I'm sure Vukas could tell me, or Nobis, or if I feel like it, I'll go look on Bulbapedia, but right now I just don't feel like it, so I'm just gonna win with Umi. Right. Next. Your boss is interested in uh, Kirby. Okay, that's cool. Oh look, more Zubats. I'm not surprised.
Seriously, I don't need to use anything else. All I need is Umi and Strength, and I can probably sweep everything from this point on to about Gym 8. Either Umi or Shibata. Well, especially Shibata. Shibata is a fighting type, and definitely built for close combat. Yes, yes, you're, you want to cast form. Congratulations. Which reminds me, I need to deposit someone in the PC so I can instantly get that free cast form. Thankfully, we're not too far from the PC, so, hey. Umi leveled up. Not bad. Not bad at all. I need to strength. Uh -huh. I we have to check to see how much Shibata has at 37. Even though that's not really a competition between 37 and 31. Yes, yes, I win. It's just a kid, don't make me laugh. Uh, so, what is it? 108. So, Umi has to get... 18 strength in about, well, 18 level, 18 attack in about, eh, 6 levels, so. Yeah, we have a convenient PC right here, so, uh, since they're almost about to faint, Shinoa, you get to go in the PC temporarily. Which reminds, well, no, I'll do that later when I get the cast form because we're actually about to get cast form. Just got to be two more uh, aqua grunts here, or one more grunt and uh, admin. Some kind of uh, just one more and an admin. Then the admin's pathetic. I'll be done using you when, well, they stop sending me normal type. When they start sending me more water types, I'll start sending out Kaiser. But for now, Umi's just so horribly broken that I'm just going to murder everything. Not completely broken, there's worse things in Pokemon that are just OP. We played! Victory is at hand. Yep, beat another grunt. I'm so amazed at my skill. Hey, admin! I forget what's your name. You're so cute, you're disgusting. Huh. Okay, meet Shelly. Of course you'd be a sh Your name would be Shelly. Uh, basically, she has a Carvana and I think a Mightyana. So, she sucks. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm using Surf instead of the normal Strength, because it is a Carvana and I'm tired of only taking damage from uh, Rough Skin. So, my Diana, well, we have a perfectly good Shibata who's been sitting here for however long it's been since I used him. Oh no, my attack got lowered. What will I not do? Well, we already know what I won't do. Not care. Because I win. Funny how that works out like that. Well, I'm disgustingly strong. Well, that's appropriate if I'm disgusting. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Bye, Team Aqua. We'll see you when you fail next time. We get a free cast form. Awesome. 
So let's go ahead and put the cast form back in the PC where he kind of belongs because I'm not going to use him. He's interesting to say the least. I called him a Kirby earlier because of his the cast form's natural ability. Once I put the Shinoa um, back in my party. Hmm. Okay, so it has a Mystic Water, uh, so let's take a look at it. It has forecast, changes with the weather. What this does is if you use Sunny Day, uh, uh, whatever causes hail status and rain dance, he'll turn into either a tornado shape for the hail, a sun for Sunny Day, and a raindrop for rain dance. So that's kind of neat. Uh, it comes with powdered snow. It's just hail. Okay. It comes with powdered snow, so it's one offensive move, but has sunny day and rain dance as well with hail. Hail's the only one that actually does damage, so. But the other two boost the moves of the same type. Huh. Rain dance is tough type. Okay. So not bad. Applejack has chlorophyll, so that's pretty nice. It would work well with uh, our new cast form because of the speed boost. Uh, kinda sucks because of its mood, move pool other than acid, but if I were to use him, he would quickly get rid of most of that. Um, is not bad. Same with cast form. Agris and Pandora, which one did I catch first? Probably Icarus. Okay, Icarus has keen eye, much like Pandora, so that's the same. Um, better special attack, better defense, less special defense, less attack, less HP, slightly better speed. Still sucks. Okay, we covered basically everyone new. So now that we've done that, let's move on with the route. Oh hey, it's raining now. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go this way. There's nothing. Okay. Oh, let's go this way. Nothing? Okay, okay. Hey May, how's it going? You know, I still hate you, so uh hey. I've gotten plenty strong. I know which Pokemon you're going to open with. That's a sad thing. <laughs> Wilmer! Hmm. Good thing I switched to Kaiser on top, isn't it? Yep. Cool story, miss. Okay. Not bad. Combustion. Lovely. Yep, come on. There we go. Good girl. Send out the combustion so I can just... Oh, do something like this. Bye. Ah, uh, Shroomish. Well, I got the perfect counter for that. Yeah, May, I'm sorry. You got your one win on me, and you forced me to use my one reset to last save. And, well, you're not gonna get that again, so... Bye. I finally have a good team. Oh, you leech seeded me! That makes it even better. You're still not going first. Yeah, should have used uh, Stun Spore, or hoped that I get hit by your Spore effect. I did. Yeah, ridiculous. No, 66 isn't that ridiculous. It's no, I'm not. Okay, you know what? I only lost the first time because the game was too busy trolling me. For winning, we get HMO2. I believe this is Fly. Mm-hmm. But we have to beat Fortree. No, I'm not going back to Fortree. No. I don't care about my mom. 
in the Pokemon world. Next, hey ninjas. Uh, hey ninja. Hey, it's suddenly sunny. Heal my Pokemon once again, please. Thank you. I'm just gonna beat these last two trainers, show what's going on in Fortree, and we can move on. Yep. Cool. Alright. Don't care about berries anymore, honestly. I'm not gonna even use them. Sure, to hide a tree, use a forest. Sounds legit, but your tree does not even fit in with the rest of the tree, so... Hideo Kojima. Uh, let's just go ahead and use Pursuit. Right! I'm stupid. Hey, Omi, get back out here. Guys, so why did I have you on top? Really, I want to know why I had you on top when I perfectly knew that I'd be fighting poison types. More coughing. Yeah, not switching. Just gonna stick with me. Lovely, you tried to poison me. Again. You still lose. Good try, though. <sighs> Thankfully, someone has some uh, idea of respect, but that's not necessary at all. So, no, uh, you're on top. Let's fight this other guy. Forken Shadows live in darkness. Okay. Hi, Hattori Hanzo. Though I know that's not your trainer name. You're Yasu. But you just remind me of Hattori Hanzo from uh, Samurai Warriors. Oh man, you failed. Good try though, Ninjask. Good try. Right, so... Let's head in. I'm gonna use the Pogo Center again, even though all I did was take a couple hits. But that's a couple hits too many, so I'm just gonna heal up and we'll move on. Sounds like a good plan. Good plan. Hmm. Uh, yeah, there's not much really to do here. What do you have to say? Yeah. Pokemon Evolved by Trade. Perfect. Yeah, that would be a problem. Hey, look! It's a gem. Inside this shop, yes, this is a shop, is a bunch of stuff for secret bases if you're feeling the need to use them. I might build a secret base and show guys, show you all later, but yeah, it's not necessary at all. Yeah, we went to a volcano. Hmm. Something unseeable is in the way. Could it be a Kecleon? I think it is. Since this would be a Fortree City, I could catch that Kecleon, but I'm not going to. Uh, you know, this actually looks like a wonderful spot to stop. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time in which we, hopefully, you'll find Steven who will say, here's how you see Kecleons. See you next time, folks.